Steve O'Reilly and I'm director of the Metabolic Research Labs. My name is Clémence Blouet and I am a senior research associate. Uh, my name is Florian Merkel and I'm a senior research associate at the MRL. I've had a long-standing interest in human metabolic disease and type 2 diabetes in particular and of course most people with type 2 diabetes are obese. So broadly my two big interests are why are some people obese and some people not and when you get obese what puts you at risk of getting diabetes. And most obese people who are at risk of diabetes are resistant to the body's insulin. So essentially my lab has two areas. One is obesity and the other is insulin resistance. My research is specifically looking at brain pathways regulating appetite and body weight gain. We don't have any safe and effective drugs to treat uh, hyperphagic obesity. And we don't know how to help these patients outside from doing uh, very invasive surgery to them. So I think this is because we don't understand very well how the brain pathways regulating appetite function. So that's why I think my research is important. So I study the neurons that regulate food intake and energy expenditure. I think my research is important because obesity is an important problem and it's a problem that does not have a good solution. So there simply are not very effective treatments. So if we want to develop better treatments, we need to better understand the cell types that are responsible for the cause of obesity and what makes those cell types tick. We will need public health measures to try and improve these things. Our work is not incompatible with that. We also need to understand the diseases better so that those individuals who still will have the disease even when we improve the environment, we need to improve the treatment for those people. For me, as a basic scientist, I think the first benefit is being surrounded by clinicians who study human obesity and know the disease in humans very well. This has changed my perspectives radically, and I'm now looking at my research questions in a different manner. I also appreciate the fact that the MRL developed core facilities that are state-of-the-art and give me access to technologies that really boost my research. The benefits for me for being based in the MRL are the, it's really the minds, it's the people within the MRL. It's this collection of researchers who study metabolic disease at the level of molecules, at the level of cells, using model organisms, up to research in, in people, clinical research. And all of those different pr perspectives together makes the whole greater than the sum of its parts. I think it's really great that we have so many uh, excellent principal investigators doing different types of research within the metabolic research labs and also that we're in a broader institute of metabolic science where we collaborate with the epidemiologists. There are a few places around the world really where scientists can study a, a molecule, a cell, a disease model when necessary in an animal model, a human being and a population and all get together within the same building and chat about how you look at the research, how you might be better design it, taking other people's viewpoints into consideration. So I think it's a tremendously exciting environment where we can go, as the Americans say, from soup to nuts uh, in, the same, in the same building.